It's funny. All right, so jujitsu. You uh, you said you did over 30 jujitsu tournaments. Yeah. So uh, by the time that you started wrestling in high school, which was your senior year, right? Yeah. Okay, so by the time you started, how many jujitsu tournaments were you in? Roughly. Uh, I'm trying to think, because I went through a phase mainly... I was doing tournaments in high school. I couldn't really give an estimate of about how many, but it was mainly after high school. I got like super into competing. Mm -hmm. And so maybe that jump between senior year and like graduate graduating, I probably was competing like every month, sometimes like oh, back to back weekends. Like I was obsessed with jujitsu tournaments. Mm -hmm. Like it's fun and I still am, but now lingering in injuries and whatnot, you know, and then also like sometimes I have to sacrifice like, okay, like I have to sacrifice this tournament because I want to fight in this month, you know, yeah. but there is, there is times where it does come hand to hand. Like my um, December fight, I did a jiu-jitsu tournament the month before kind of just like, okay, like let me add this as part of my camp. But I did like a smaller tournament knowing like, okay, go in there, like don't be prideful. Like if you need to tap, you'll tap, you know, and I get there and I'm like, fuck that, I'm gonna <laughs> win today, you know? And especially that day, um, I actually ended up, I look at the, I didn't really know you could look up like the tournament roster, like who we were competing against. And I finally looked it up the night before and I saw there was only two girls in my bracket and one of them was out of the gym, um, neighboring cities. And then the other one was Janae Harding from Bellator. Okay. She was in my bracket and I was like, oh, okay. You know, and just right away that shot my confidence because oh. I was like, I'm competing with a Bellator fighter tomorrow, you know, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. I was just spiring that night, and I already told myself, like, okay, tomorrow whatever happens, happens. And I woke up, and I was like, nah, fuck, fuck that. that. Yeah. She's a blue belt. You're a blue belt, you know? Like, yeah, she's no. about to get the problems. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so, But it's funny, because I was also such a huge fangirl of her, and I was mm -hmm. like, I got to fuck her up. But, like, oh, my God, I want to, like, hug her after. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was such a, and I still am, and it's cool afterwards. Like, we got each other on Instagram. She likes all my stuff now. And, like, you That's know, she's dope. very, very sweet. But mm -hmm. um, I totally forgot how I got into that story. Tournaments. Tournament, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I sometimes can use, like, a tournament as, like, a like way to, like, use it as part of my camp for fights, you know? Mm -hmm. But for the most part, I just love competing. I love the rush of it. I always say if things don't turn out as, like, expected with MMA or if I end up not wanting to go that route, which for the most part I do, but I also would be very okay with just going big and competing in jiu-jitsu jiu tournaments. That's dope. So, yeah. So how did that, um, I guess, obsession of jiu-jitsu translate to when you started wrestling in high school? Oh, no, that was horrible. I don't even, like, claim that wrestling period much because it was short, short, it was short and also just not knowing, like, my basics and whatnot. Mm hmm Around that time, um, it was just odd. I was, it felt very out of place all the time, and like I wasn't learning fast enough because these guys already knew what they were doing, up to pace. They already know their basics, where their head goes, and whatnot. And I just felt like a lost puppy, you know. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to mix wrestling practice with MMA practice, with school, with work, with you know homework, all that. So I just quit with that. But I mean, I still nowadays like a lot of my teammates are like very good collegiate level wrestlers and whatnot, you know. So I'm still learning my wrestling. Yeah. But just the whole high school thing, it just wasn't working it was a with struggle. me. <laughs> yeah. Before we uh, move on from the whole, you know, starting off in the high school thing, uh, we talked about previously how uh, like competing and stuff like that kept you busy, kept you out of trouble for yeah. the most part. Yeah. Um, talk about that a little bit. I know some people. Uh, especially with the crazy euphoria going out, you know, people are doing crazy shit. It happens. Yeah. Oh, there's a new episode tonight. Anyways, um, yeah, a lot of people I met with, like, with fighting, it's usually like fighting took them out of that party stage and stuff, you know? One of my teammates, he moved out here, and I think he trains out of there, but I always see him like tagging that place. So I was just thinking of like a lot of places to check out when I came out here, but... Syndicate was just such a good one that I was like, you know what, I'll probably already like just go back to that one since I'm a little more pressed for time Monday. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people that um, like fight, I've been noticing train at uh, Syndicate, mm -hmm. uh, train at uh, 10th Planet, and train at Extreme Couture. Okay. So, like from, and mind you, like my, my uh, knowledge in where people train in Vegas is very low. I don't fucking okay. like just check people out, but... I follow a lot of MMA fighters on, on Instagram, and that's where they're at. Okay. But in terms of um, Extreme Couture, yeah, that place is awesome, man. The, yeah. just the level of uh, difficulty for me mm -hmm. is what drives me. Everybody yeah. beats my ass. Like if when I'm rolling in jujitsu, all the girls fuck me up. That's all not the a guys gym fuck where me up. you're just testing the waters, getting your feet wet, you know? I knew yeah. it was going to be like a sink or swim type thing. Yeah. I, I thrive... 
<laughs> You're like, I'm a, I I'm think, a scuba diver. <laughs> I thrive in those situations, I think. You know, I hope so. Uh, but no, it's unfortunately, I haven't been able to be in there um, since like mid or mid-December. I've only been in there a handful of times because I'm just so fucking busy. Yeah. And I'm dealing with a shoulder injury. And then yeah. I'm dealing with an ankle. Both ankles and feet Ooh. are fucked up from a run I went on like a month ago. Yeah. But anyways, extreme couture is the shit. And I know you brought up uh, like when you started in jujitsu, you're shrimping around the the gym for the first 15 20 minutes and whatnot my first day in jujitsu we rolled five rounds back to back to back to back to back oh and if you're not ready for that type of cardio that's something else i was hurting i mm -hmm. was fucking thank i've never thrown up but like i get lightheaded and almost want to pass out at the end yeah. of jujitsu every fucking time oh yeah and i it's it, when you say it's obsessive yes it, it fucking is because you want to come <laughs> back the next time and be like all right that's not happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I almost pass out again the next time. Yeah. But uh, Friday mornings, I have like devoted Friday mornings to go and get at least Friday mornings yeah. to get no gi jujitsu. And okay. also like um, the kickboxing Muay Thai classes are awesome. The coaches all in there are fucking phenomenal. Nice. If you're going to train like Nganu and fucking Brandon Moreno at three and then train me at five. Yeah. <laughs> bro, I'll, I'll clean the fucking mats if you want me to. Yeah. I'm just so thankful. Yeah. Yeah, but anyways, fuck me. We're back talking to you. Uh, where were we at before? Oh, you're asking about like training keeping me out of trouble. Yes, yes. There you go. Yeah. So, um, yeah, a lot of people I meet that fight. It's typically like, oh, I was a street fighter. I was in the party scene. Blah blah blah. And fighting took me away from that. Fighting kind of just kept me out of all that. Mm -hmm. I'd even because I already started competing early on in high school, doing tournaments and stuff. So I had my curious stage in high school. I was going to house parties and all that. But I quickly learned. If I went to a house party on like a Friday or a Saturday, drank with my friends and went to go try to compete on a Sunday, that wasn't mm -hmm. mixing. And mm -hmm. I already knew what I liked and valued more quickly. Mm -hmm. And um, I always say like I've always been like pretty like level headed, you know, and so I definitely knew like, OK, I quickly learned I'm not going to mix these two, you know. So I still had my fun and all that, but I definitely sacrificed a big portion of like the teen years and going out and this and that for training yeah. and so there's even times like even just typical things like um my mom always has a funny story like even like school dances and stuff there's one time i competed at a tournament got home got in the shower grabbed my stuff hopped the wall because i just had a tournament that day i came home with a black eye and i had like homecoming that night yeah and she was like well like are you sure you want to do a tournament that day i was like I'm not skipping this tournament. Like, I'll get to homecoming after. So I get home, grab all my stuff, jump the wall to get to my neighbor's house to get ready, get ready for homecoming in like 30 minutes. I'm like, all right, guys, let's go, you know? Cover the black eye and yeah. all that, you know? And so I always made training my first priority and then anything around that, like, second, you know? So it, it I'm glad it kept me out of trouble. I never... I feel like sometimes, uh, like you said, sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And I feel like maybe it was better that you, well, for sure, it was better that you were doing that. But yeah. like in that time when we're not doing the things that our peers are doing, we kind of feel like we're sacrificing or losing out. Left but out, mm -hmm. missing now, out. Yeah, now we're a little bit older and we look back and it's like, really, was I the one that was missing out or were y'all not missing out because I yeah. was doing what I loved? You guys were just going through a phase because mm -hmm. even nowadays like i barely, what, like two weeks ago i barely went to like a club for the first time you know you and meanwhile shit, yeah so meanwhile straight after high school and i'm sacrificing every weekend like train and whatnot you know i was like oh i'm missing out on so many new experiences blah 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 i went to a club the first time recently it was fun but i was just like that was it you know yeah. i was like i thought i was missing out on so much you know i was like i don't know i'd rather be at an open mat training you know mm -hmm. so i'm definitely glad i always just stayed committed I to that. It, it, was, it was fun, but then like the next night, my friend and I thought we we're gonna go out to like one again, but we're like, dude, you wanna just stay mm, home and watch like much. a thriller? Yeah, you know? yeah. Sweaty and other people and just mm -hmm. I mean there's there's jujitsu, but <laughs> 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 that's a cooler version of sweaty other people. Yeah. <laughs> is it like jujitsu is, you know, pushing your your mental and physical limits. Yeah. Versus and I like that. the club is just like it's too hostile for me. Too many mm -hmm. people. And then, like, I'm... Especially, I'm like, a, aggressive approaches, too. Yeah, I hate that. Because mm -hmm. I'm a very nice person. I yes. don't... I'm not with the fucking trying to be a tough guy shit. Yeah. I, there was a time... You know, when I was younger, that was me. But I'm older now. It's like, man, give me a fucking hug. I, yeah, like, give me a hug. I, fuck all that shit. I, I fight because it's fun and I enjoy it in a safe, controlled environment. I'm not yeah. trying to... 
fuck with you right now. I'm trying to dance and shit in a club. I like yeah. to dance. So yeah. if I do go out, I'm trying to dance. I'm not trying to worry about, oh, I accidentally stepped on your shoes and now, and we're, now we might fight. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Yeah. So, yeah, when it comes to the club and shit, it's never really been my I quickly thing. learned, like, okay, I wasn't missing out on much like yeah. I thought, you know. I still went to, like, my few house parties and stuff. And it was always fun, but I was always more just like, cool, Monday I get to go back to practice. And I'm, mm-hmm. I'm at a party and I'm like... None of these people don't even know what an arm bar is, you know? Like, <laughs> so I could take everyone in this room right I, now. I was going to say, when you went to the club, were you like, I could beat that bitch's ass, Lucky that bitch's ass? I do this ass. thing where I for sure like size people up everywhere I go, and they don't give a damn who I am, you know? Yeah. But I'm just kind of more just like, okay, if things were to break out this in this room. This is how room, I would react. What would be my skate method? <laughs> <laughs> who, if things were to pop off, who could I take on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that's definitely exciting. Fight or, fight or flight. Fight. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. Or if there's like four or five of them motherfuckers, then I might, I might have to take off. <laughs> I'm a swing first and then I'll run. <laughs> yeah, hit the first one and then we book. What? 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 What?